Welcome to Understanding Motor Oil Standards, Part 2 in the Lubrication Fundamental Series from Joe Gibbs Driven Racing Oil. I'm Lake Speed Jr., Certified Lubrication Specialist and member of the Society of Tribologists and Lubrication Engineers. Have you ever picked up an oil bottle and wondered what all those symbols and acronyms actually mean? There's a lot of information on a bottle of oil if you know how to decode it. Today, I'm going to walk you through the symbols and codes so you can understand what you are buying. More importantly, you can purchase the correct product for your application. There is no best oil for all applications, no one size fits all. The best oil for a Prius is not the best oil for a Mack truck. Oil is application specific and understanding the symbols and codes on oil labels helps you understand if you're choosing the right oil for your application. Looking at the front of a regular bottle of motor oil, the first thing you see is the viscosity. The SAE grade of this oil is 5W30, which means it is a 5 winter grade in terms of cold cranking protection, and it is a summer 30 grade in terms of high temperature protection. As you may have guessed, W does not stand for weight. Viscosity is based in terms of grades. The number before the W is the winter grade of cold start protection. The lower the number before the W, the better the cold start protection. The number after the W is the grade of summer high temperature protection. The higher the number after the W, the better the high temperature protection. However, a higher number after the W reduces fuel economy. The higher viscosity grade provides viscous drag that reduces efficiency. Many manufacturers now recommend a 5W30 to provide both good low temperature performance and excellent high temperature performance. The next symbol of interest is the starburst. This tells you the oil meets current manufacturer minimum performance requirements. The ILSAC Starburst certifies the oil has passed the minimum performance requirements of both U.S. and Japanese car manufacturers. The current ILSAC standard is GF5. Some car manufacturers like GM have performance requirements that differ from the basic ILSAC standard. The DEXO symbol on this oil indicates this oil also meets the GM performance standards as well as the GF5 standard as indicated by the Starburst. Oils that display the Starburst provide fuel economy benefits and protect emissions control equipment. Both ILSAC and API standards reduce the amount of ZDP, better known as zinc, in order to meet stringent emission standards for passenger cars. Speaking of API, let's move on to the donut. Shown here, the API service donut indicates this oil is an API SN oil. The viscosity grade is 5W30 and it is resource conserving. So what the heck does all that mean? API defines service categories for both gasoline and diesel engines. Service categories that begin with S are for gasoline powered engines and API categories that begin in C are for diesel engines. So we can see this oil meets the current API SN standard for gasoline engines. We already discussed SA viscosity grades, so what does resource conserving mean? The resource conserving designation tells you that this oil meets the ILSAC GF5 standards for fuel economy and emission system protection. It's just another way of saying this oil meets the starburst requirements. Now that we've talked about gasoline engine oils, let's finish up with a breakdown of diesel oil standards. Like we mentioned, API designates diesel service categories with a C. The current oil standard is API CJ4. CJ4 diesel oils are formulated to be compatible with ultra-low sulfur diesel fuels and diesel particulate filters. The level of zinc in CJ4 diesel oils has been restricted in order to protect the diesel particulate filters and after-treatment devices found on current diesel vehicles. In contrast to passenger car oils and diesel oils, racing oils, break-in oils, and high-performance oils don't have to meet OEM emissions performance requirements. As a result, these oils offer greater protection and performance in specialized applications. This is possible through the right chemical balance of the proper level of ZDP compared to the other additives in the oil. ZDP has to compete against the detergents in oils. Passenger cars and diesel oils require higher levels of detergent whereas high performance engines and racing engines don't require as high as level due to shorter oil change intervals. To summarize, 
Oils are formulated for specific applications. Accordingly, use an oil designed for your specific application. For your streetcar, look up the viscosity and API specification required in your owner's manual, and then choose a brand that you trust to deliver that viscosity and spec. For breaking in a new engine or for a high performance and racing engine, consult our website for an oil tailored to your engine specific needs. Thanks for listening today. We'll see you next time.